All right, so the final rumor, at least I think this is the final rumor we're going to be talking about today at Nintendo Prime, deals with Ace Attorney. Yes, one of my favorite franchises on Nintendo's handheld systems. One of my favorite franchises really by Capcom of all companies. I know a lot of people call them Crapcom, but I got to say, they've made some good games on 3DS and DS. And this report actually comes from Kotaku UK. Now, that's enough to make me trust it because Kotaku, uh, they often get blacklisted by companies for leaking things um, that they find out that they're, you know, these companies don't want them talking about. Uh, and on top of that, on top of Kotaku's history and getting blacklisted over the last few years uh, for leaking legit stuff, um, this reports by Laura Kate Dale, who also nailed, like, I don't know, it was something like 90% of her quote-unquote switch rumors uh, last year heading into this year, uh, making me trust this even more because I'm sure these are her sources. Uh, So someone who I already trust with leaks on top of at an outlet that's not only a legit outlet, but a legit outlet that gets in trouble for leaking things. Uh, Yeah, this is exciting stuff. Um, And I'm just going to read the the article here. It's very short uh, and to the point. Uh, But it says, uh, as part of the investor briefing, Capcom confirmed that it has plans to prepare more games for Nintendo Switch in 2018. This is this we know is true. We reported on this already. Uh, after admitting the company was caught off guard by the system's highly successful launch, one of the franchises mentioned with regards to these future plans is Ace Attorney. So the first time we've heard of that. Uh, it says, speaking to two independent sources, Kotaku UK has learned that Capcom currently has plans for three Ace Attorney games for Switch. The company is planning to release two compilations of Ace Attorney games in the first half of 2018, 2019 financial year, uh, between April 2018 and October 2018 is the supposed planned date for those. And one of the one is a compilation of the first the first three Ace Attorney games. The other is compiling Ace Attorney games four through six in the series. This specific configuration does make a lot of sense because Capcom has previously re-released the games on iOS, which they have them as games 1 through 3 and 4 through 6 in separate apps, updated for HD on a single touchscreen device. And 3DS, the first three being bundled as Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Trilogy, which may have made these bundles something of a no-brainer for the publisher. However... This is where it gets really exciting. Our sources indicate that this is leading up to something. Capcom has apparently also began work on a new mainline Ace Attorney game, aiming for a late 2018 simultaneous global release on Switch and mobile. The new game is planned to contain five cases at launch and features Phoenix Wright returning as the playable protagonist of the story. Exciting times. I'll let you know when we hear more details. Until then, court is adjourned. Objection! I just really wanted to say objection. I really don't object to this rumor at all. This is really, really exciting stuff to me. Um, I I figured that after the Ace Attorney games released in two separate apps on phones, they were going to come to Switch. It's an easy port job for them. They've already made it work on one touchscreen. They're going to make it work on the touchscreen on Switch easily. They'll probably re-implement some some base controls into it. No problem. I don't think that's going to be an issue. They have proven that the games work just fine on a single screen. But what's exciting to me is a brand new game. Now, you might be saying, oh, my expectations are tempered because uh, it's coming to Switch and mobile devices. So, like, it would come to Switch and phones. But so what? Have you played Ace Attorney? Ace Attorney works just fine on phones as it would on Switch, as it would on 3DS. Like, seriously, there's nothing that happens at Ace Attorney that should be hurt by the fact it's on phones. This is one of the few games out there that I can't really get upset that it's on phones and Switch because I don't feel like they're going to have to compromise anything for it to be on phones and Switch. It doesn't need super powerful hardware. Honestly, Ace Attorney's all about the cases. I mean, it's, it's about Phoenix Wright yelling objection, which is obviously uh, what the series is most known for. Objection! Objection! And the cases. Uh, none of this is something that's limited by hardware, uh, so I'm not that worried about it. I feel like I, I'm just excited we're going to get more Ace Attorney. I feel like Ace Attorney uh, is obviously you know a cheaper-to-make game and not as high-risk uh, for Capcom as it would be bringing things like Monster Hunter Worlds to Switch, but it's still a fantastic franchise. 
that I didn't know if we were gonna, ever going to get again on Nintendo hardware. After they brought the trilogies, uh, three, two different trilogies over to phones, I thought maybe they were going to be done with Nintendo systems. So I'm glad to see that, hey, look, even though it's coming out on mobile, it's also coming out on Switch. Now, the only thing we can hope is that the game is cheap on Switch. Uh, because it releases on phones, on mobile phones, the game's not going to be 40 bucks on phones, right? Um, it'll probably be either microtransaction based, ad based, or uh, a single purchase, you know, for like three three bucks to five bucks, uh, which to me means the Switch version better be just as cheap and probably digital only. Uh, but I don't know. You guys let me know what you think about all of this. I'm obviously excited to get the collection packs. I'm going to be excited to have a brand new Ace Attorney game. Uh, obviously, I'm treating this a lot more like facts than I am a rumor, but I should note this is still a rumor. The games have not been officially announced. Uh, this is supposedly from two different sources that were in on the investors' call. Uh, so the, the news does come from Capcom, but again, we're getting this news secondhand. So we'll see what happens. And now you guys are receiving it thirdhand, technically, from me. So obviously take all this stuff with a grain of salt. But I am super, super stoked to have Ace Attorney back in the fold. And I, let me know. Do you guys even like Ace Attorney? Do you guys object to this happening? Um, let me know what you think about all of this in the comments below. And also, hey, how many of you guys out there are playing Doom? Uh, it, uh, this video is releasing on a Monday. Uh, so tonight we're going to be live streaming. I'm hoping to live stream some Doom multiplayer tonight. That should be fun because I plan to play a bunch of the single player for this video and some other videos I'm going to be making and getting a whole bunch of recordings in for that so I can focus on having some multiplayer deathmatch team battle mayhem going old school Unreal Tournament style. Man, I've been wanting to play a game like that on a Nintendo system pretty much what since what? Ever? I mean, I don't think there's ever been a game that's had multiplayer quite like that, um, quite like an Unreal Tournament style. Anyways, folks, you guys let me know what you think about all of this stuff in the comments below. I am Nathaniel Rufflejance from Nintendo Prime. And if you like this video, you know what to do. And if you dislike the video, hit that dislike button. Subscribe for more content. And you know what, folks? I will catch you in the next one.